What's up, everybody? Jason from JazzFaceCaseBreaks.com. We just sold out. 2022 Panini Flawless Baseball. Two box case break picketing number six. So here we go, guys. Hasn't been this much controversy. I know, right? Jesus. For one card, man. Just, just one, one little card. It's like... It's just so funny because like every other card is actually where they currently are. Trey Turner hasn't even played with the Phillies yet, right? He's already on Philly. You know, Verlander's a Met. So it's like, uh, you're going to do that to Freddie Freeman, who's been a Dodger for over a year already? Come on. So, I mean, I, I just wonder what he, wonder what's going to be said about it. So we just want to make sure. Hopefully he's like, oh shit, I fucked up, you know, which happens. We're all humans. And then corrects it, right? And then this whole little controversy is over with, but... I'm feeling good, man. I, I really am. I think Jalen Hurts should be back to his normal self. Of course, I still think that uh, they probably still want him to protect himself at all times, but I think Jalen Hurts needs to play without the fear. Without the fear of, of getting injured, and, and you know what I mean? Because when you play a little scared like that, it's kind of hard because... Because then you think about it too much, and then he's not being used to to his all to the best of his abilities. So, but you know, it's it, I'm, I'm I'm good though. I mean, a lot of emphasis on Daniel Jones, and he deserves it. He's been playing great the last few weeks. You know, no turning over the ball, making good decisions. But you know, I, like Vikings defense wasn't really that good. So, of course, going back to Giants game week, what, 14, 13? Um, you know, obviously Eagles dominated, so. I'm, I'm confident they should be the Giants. I'm confident in, it, in the Eagles beating anybody if they play their best, but there's no guarantee that happens, right? They might have an off day and then lose. I hope not, but it could happen. Actually, that's a very good question, Patrick. I personally have it. I personally have it, but that's something I think we should bring up too, actually. I'll bring it up, and if you guys want to DM something about that, because honestly, that was a, a weird thing, right? It was like literally the first case. All right, here we go. First one. 19 of 25, Cabrian Hayes and O'Neal Cruz. Oh, okay, perfect. If you bought it already, then perfect. <laughs> no, I don't know. If I would have known, I would have said something by now, too. Uh, Pirates, Tristan. We got a little pudge, Ivan Rodriguez for the Florida Marlins. That's my uh, Miami Marlins going to Michael. Next, we got a little laundry tag, a couple nice three-color patches. 10 of 10, Will Bednard. Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't found anything out, but I'll, I'll take a look into that too, man. I want to know I want to know something too now that you brought it up. I'm not going to lie. Low-key, I kind of forgot about it. It's been so long, you know, but... I'll see if I can find anything out soon. And that is, of course, Giants uh, Michael Cohen. Andrew Jones, Atlanta Braves. That's 8 out of 20. I think the Dodgers... Well, the Dodgers have always been in on Otani in the sense. I mean, the three teams he was going to go to was either LA, Dodgers, Angels, or Seattle. So, I mean, of course, I wouldn't doubt it the Dodgers would be in on it. Alec Mano, put it this way. Any team that really wants Joe Otani will be in it. <laughs> it's just, I think, I think the possibility for Otani going anywhere is probably only some of those bigger teams, honestly. I, I don't think he's going to go anywhere else. It's not like he's going to take, 
you know, the whole franchise of, like, Baltimore and go to Baltimore, you know, because they're going to give him the whole franchise. Like, I don't think it's about money for Shohei Otani. He's going to get money wherever he goes. All right, Toronto is d And then Braves was Justin Martin there with that uh, Andrew Jones. 3 of 10, Royce Lewis. And how about a little Nike swoosh one of one of Jose Ramirez. Cleveland. That's uh, Bailey with the Guardians. A little nice little Nike swoosh one of one. Very nice. Solid hit right there. One of the most underrated players in baseball. Anthony Rizzo, four out of five Chicago Cubs. It's funny that they still make this dude in Cubs uniforms. And that is uh, Cubs, William. All right, here we go. Oh, it's just the auto. I don't know if that's the auto or not. It is. Carl Yastrzemski, 4 out of 10 for Boston. Red Sox go to Michael Cohen. And a Shane Baz, USA Baseball, double, uh, double uh, emerald, 5 of 5. Of course, no controversy there. That's a Ray. Tristan. Yeah, I don't understand, man. Honestly, the Angels have fumbled so many great players. And if they lose Otani, it's... Hey, you got a second? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of a break. What's up, though? Um, did you give a couple away? Hit packs? No. We just sold 20. Okay, because I only have, like, 18 here. Uh, it's because the first two... Okay, so the first two that sold, I didn't put value in the uh, title. Okay. So go back to, like, the first... You know what it was? Or no? If you just type in the hit pack but take off the value or okay. put the skew in the same... Okay. Alright. I know, right? Isn't he trying to sell the team already, though? Isn't he trying to cash out? I mean, that dude bought the Angels for, like, nothing compared to what's going to sell for now. And th imagine that. The Angels are going to sell for what they're going to sell for, and they haven't even won anything since he bought them. But because of how much talent is on that roster... And obviously you're in Anaheim, LA. Oh, LA. Well, that's really Orange County, but you know what I mean. You're in Southern California. It's crazy. When was the last time the Angels made the playoffs? Was it like Trout's second year? Like in 2013, 2014? But every year they lost in the first wild card round, right? I, I mean, I would send Trout to Philly, right? <laughs> I mean, Trout should want to go to Philly. Well, yeah, I think the three playoff games he played in, they all lost, right? Or they lost the series, per se. I think it was just that one year. That is true, Will, right? So imagine if Otani's gone, how much money does the... How much value does it go down for the Angels? So Otani's huge, right? <laughs> Woo! Look at this patch. O'Neal Cruz. We haven't got an O'Neal Cruz auto, but you'd be getting some nice patches. A 5 of 5. Pirates. Going to Tristan. Look at that. It's a nice patch right there. We have a Willie Stargell. <laughs> Looks like when he was a manager, maybe. 7 out of 15. 
Atlanta. But advice as a coach. So Justin with the Atlanta Braves. Wow, didn't we just literally hit this card? Is it, is it deja vu? Wow, literally just almost hit this card. 7 of 10 now, though. <laughs> All right. Another one for the Giants. Go to Michael Cohen. We have a Kevin Smith for Toronto, 10 of 20. Blaze Jordan for Boston, 11 out of 20. Boston, Michael Cohen. We have Luis Gonzalez. That is 9 of 10. We have a Riley Green, 7 out of 20. Nice one there for Detroit. Detroit Tigers, Adam Kupperman. And then we have a Dustin Pedroia, nice quad relic there to 15. Here we go. And Bobby Witt Jr. That is a little uh, sapphire and autograph. Two of 15. That's USA Baseball. Of course, still obviously currently on the Royals, so no controversy there either. And, of course, he is a Royal on the checklist as well for group break. So that and, of course, like I say, he's currently active. But there you go. Kansas City Royals, that is Steve Locke. And then last one here is a Honus Wagner, 4 out of 10 diamond relic. That's Pittsburgh Pirates. Nice break, Tristan. There you go, man. All right. And there you go, folks. That was the break there. Some very solid stuff again coming out of N uh, not NT, out of Flawless. So appreciate it, guys. Next one is in the store. Um, appreciate it guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com.